Last time on Bard Anime Explosion. The Slaughter Brothers, the heroic Panda, and the evil Jonichi were feuding over the love of Kay. Well, that or they were just feuding over good versus evil, the whole thing, and Kay's weeabooism just got in the middle of it. But she got her senpai to notice her. Isn't that something? Of course, it wasn't a friendly reaction. And Jonichi didn't reciprocate her love. And Panda tried to ward her off with his hero dancing or something or other. Okay, wait, is this recap just gonna be showing the entire last episode all over again? Well, it was kinda cut short due to the lack of budget, so... Don't worry, this week we will be pulling out all of the stops. Actual movement. New characters. A plot that might actually make sense! All this and more in the new installment of Bard Anime. EXPLOSION! Okay, can we cut the last few seconds of the recap to get to the title card? Charging! The Senpai's Adventure in the Valley of the Real. Shoichi, you are so cool! And so is your brother's dancing! Why don't you love each other? He may be cool, but he's not the brother I once knew. Now he is evil. Plus, my dancing is cooler. And so I must charge the Panda Blast! Well, well, we wait for him to charge. For while I am evil, he is still my brother and deserves a fair fight. I will share my tragic backstory with you. Flashback mind meld. It was the Spring Festival. Oh, Grey Sakura Daisuke! English girl, speak English! So anyway, I was enjoying myself. Until... I had never seen this before. Oh, please do that to me all the time, senpai! You want me to because you think you're Japanese, but I am properly Americanized. We do not have such salacious content in America until now. At this point, I suspected that my life had been handed over to new gods who were revealing things the old gods had censored. Things such as references to religion. Last week, my family name was Strotter. Now it's slaughter! Well, some things haven't changed. Oh, story, senpai! Heading home that day, I found a room that had been censored. A dark room, so I entered. And in that room were the gods who cut. But these gods were not cutting inappropriate or un-American content like I assume their predecessors were. No, they were cutting out continuity, taking frames out of something bigger. Something called... Reality. So, if the gods can destroy reality to make this anime, why can't I destroy and be a god myself? If you love me, I will worship you as a god! Blast! What will become of the battle, the romance, reality, our budget? All this and more next week on Bard Anime Explosion!